Well, when I draw SpongeBob, uh, I always draw in his uh, basic construction first lightly, which is what I'm going to be doing here in blue. And we'll do this so that it won't mess up the, uh, the drawing later. Once I have a pretty firm idea of where his construction is, I can start laying in the details. His eyes fall just above the midway on his face. He's got a little cheek that pokes into one of his eyes and a nice big smile. Even his teeth fall in right along that center line, so I put those guidelines in to help me keep his proportions correct all the time. He's actually got a very specific pattern of holes, which seems complicated at first, but after you've done it a whole bunch of times, it becomes pretty easy to remember. And his little shoes are like little beans with a heel on them, and he's got socks. And bring the cuff of his pants up there. And I'm going to put his belt on as well. So Sponge is basically square shaped, and his friend Squidward starts off with a round bulbous head. And I'm going to put the guideline in there. And he's got longer eyes than SpongeBob does, and big nose. Get this big egg-shaped head up at the top. And a nice skinny neck. 